I remember when I was a kid, my dad had decided that he needed to spend more time with each of us. I got a younger brother and a younger sister. Friday, my dad would pick us all up from school. We would head to a campground somewhere. It's always special. You know, there wasn't any electronic devices at these campgrounds, but we were all together and dad was there and we'd set up the tents and we'd find the firewood and we'd make a fire together. We'd spend time together. I think about my two daughters, what they'll remember of their childhood. I think sometimes we try a little too hard to buy a memory. I want my kids to remember the times that we spent together. When we're talking about leaving a legacy, it's not about things. It's about time. You know, with the demands of ministry and, and life sometimes, you can definitely create distance from your kids, but I on purpose do things to make sure that uh, I never lose contact. You know, I coach the baseball teams. I make sure I attend their recitals, and I make sure that I try and have at least a day out of the week where we just go and, and do something. So I, I have to on purpose uh, make times for my kids, and I've seen that that's yielded the fruit of us staying close. When I think about fatherhood, I think about it being more than just finances. I think about it being more than just putting food on your kid's table. Fatherhood is really a commission and a privilege. So if I can say anything to anyone out there, time is worth more than any amount of money that you can give to your kids. David, he's 13 now and I see a lot of myself in him. A lot of the same characters that I had when I was that age. I do see that a lot of me in both of my boys. I would like to leave a legacy for my children of hard work and always pouring into people's lives. That they'd always remember to be faithful to God and to serve them with all their hearts. It was really important that a father and son be able to share the love of God, you know, between them. You know, it's just, it's just there ain't nothing like it. And I would just uh, encourage you that, you know, if you're looking for answers to how to draw close, you know, and reconcile a relationship between your kids, you're on good ground, you're in a good place. The Dream Center is an excellent place for you to learn how to do that. I like most about my dad is because he's athletic, helps me with my problems. We go outside and play basketball, and we play a lot of video games and we box each other up a lot. When we think about our dad, some things that come to our mind is like... Laughter. Laughter, um, animals, he loves nature. He's just a caring dad, I mean, even when he was out there, you know, he had my back in every way, you know. That's what I like about my dad. He takes care of us and he goes to work every day and and when he gets a chance, he spends time with me. Even if he says something wrong or does something wrong, he always comes back by the end of the night and mm -hmm. apologizes or gets you ice cream. He just improves me with the word of God. You know, if he, if he can, he tells me what he can and can do. Happy, Happy Father's Day. Well, Tony, I love you with all my heart and just thank you for coming into my life. And being a great father to me. We love you, Dad. Love Happy you. Father's Day. I love you as far as dirt goes.